All right, uh, 2.2, can you ABC? That's the intro for this one. Uh, this is pretty simple. The standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In each of the following equations, identify the values of a, b, and c. a, b, and c are numbers. They do not include letters. I repeat, they do not include letters. When I say, what is the value of a, everybody wants to say 3x. No. No. A is a number. A is 3. B, therefore, would be negative 7. Remember, you always have to look to the sign in front of the number to determine if it's positive or negative. And then C is 12. It's that simple. You do the same thing for 1 through 4. So if we were to do 2, you get 9, 4, negative 8. Right? If I can, if this will allow me, I'm going to scroll down and do number 3, which I would get 2, 11, and 15. I know I went through that fast, but hey, it's, it's pretty simple. Number four, you get negative five, 41, 36. Again, simple. Number five, what I want you to do here is I want you to pause the video and take a second, and I want you to underline what they are asking for in number five. So pause it and underline what they're asking for. Did you? You probably didn't, right? But they're asking me for the vertex. They're asking me for the line of symmetry. The number of x-intercepts, not what they are, but the number, and if it's a minimum or maximum. All right, so here we go. A uh, little bit of trick of the trade as far as uh, identifying the vertex. I want to meet where the y values meet in the middle, because remember, parabolas increase or decrease. 9 to nothing, 2 to nothing, negative 3 to negative 3, negative 6 to negative 6. See how I'm just I identifying those by kind of connecting them? And then my vertex is here in the middle, so my vertex is 0 and negative 7. What is my line of symmetry? Well, you can either envision this, or if you cannot envision this, draw a mini graph over here and plot your vertex. 0, negative 7. From my original y equals x squared, from y equals x squared, where has my new parabola moved? My new parabola has done this. It, it, its vertex was here at 0, 0. It's now down here regardless of how it goes. The line of symmetry has not shifted. The line of symmetry, its equation is going to be x equals zero. Remember, these two are interlinked. These two are the same. How many x-intercepts will it have? Well, if you drew the mini graph for this, it would be helpful. If not, you also could use your imagination, but if you can't, that's fine. If my, all, all that happened is my parabola shifted down, Okay? My parabola is going to look like this, meaning it's going to open up, it's going to have two x-intercepts. And since it does open up, it's going to be a minimum. One more thing I want you to look at is I'm going to go ahead and skip to question number seven. It says multiply and find ABC because it's not in standard form. So what is it having me do in question number seven? Most everybody understands it's having me distribute. So however you show your distribution, me, my little arcs, that's my thought process. I get x squared minus 4x. What is a? What is b? What is c? Well, what's always in front of a number but never written? A 1, therefore a is 1. b is going to be negative 4. And g, there is no constant term. So if there is no constant term, its value is 0. All right, so continue that 1 through 6. You're going to do 8 through, I think, what is it, 11 or 12, something like that for the assignment. Make sure you distribute, show your work, all right, as necessary. And there is your assignment.